please understand, all of the artists you listen to, all those people on Spotify, all those actors you like, all those sports stars, all those Instagram influencers, all those garbage people you follow have sold their souls. All of them. All. And they have done it for their own personal gain mm -hmm. so they can make millions and they don't care how they damage society by extension. And you are society. So they have decided to damage you to benefit them. Why are you following them? Why are you going to their football games? Why are you watching their music videos? Why are you going to their concerts? Why are you supporting the people who have sold you out? Because you know, they all have. Mm -hmm. I want to make this, yeah, I'm saying this I now. Agree with you I'm the only one they're putting in jail. I'm the only one they're putting mm -hmm. in jail. They've all sold you out. If I would have taken that contract, I would have never gone to jail. I would never be labeled a human trafficker. I would never have the bad press. I'd have 50 million extra pounds. I would not have lost 25 million in legal fees so far. My life would be objectively better. My children would be safer. My women wouldn't have their houses raided. All of that, if only I had taken the money, but I didn't. Do you think once someone sells a soul, they can't get it back? Absolutely. Once um, you, yeah. I, mean, I mean, maybe perhaps you can try and reverse the bad you did, perhaps. But the scary thing about all of this is, once you sell your soul, that's only the beginning. So let's say I said yes. Then I would be invited to a party, which I'd have to go to, part of my contract. Are you talking about a party on like a private island sort of thing? Perhaps. Mm -hmm. Or a party where something happens. And I was there at the time. And there's footage of me there at the time. Mm -hmm. and something happened and I had to go. It was part of my contract. And then I'm not told not to tell anyone. Don't tell anyone. I don't tell anyone because I'm not supposed to. And I don't want to get in trouble. But now I have a secret I'm harboring and they know I have it. And they're holding it against me and they can blackmail me. And then I get invited to go somewhere else. Do you understand? That's the beginning of it. That's the beginning, my friend. And then you're so far down the rabbit hole that you know the truth. And now, even if you want to tell the truth, how do you redeem yourself? They'll kill you. Mm. That's they'll, what I'm saying. That, they'll kill you. When I look at it in the likes of that. Anyone who's brave enough to face execution to tell the truth is the kind of person who would have been brave enough to say no at the beginning, like me. I'm the kind of person who would tell the truth and get killed. But I'm also the kind of person who would never get there. Mm. That's the point. Anyone who ends up there is a fucking coward. And you're sitting at home, jerking off to the Super Bowl's halftime show, like a dummy, and going to concerts when they're in town. Yeah! Supporting the people who have sold you out, like a fool. 99% of them have sold their soul. And you need to sit as a human at home and say, am I gonna idolize someone Am I going to support someone? Am I going to respect someone who has sold their soul to the devil, who will tell my children bad ideas, who will ruin my family because I like their music?